The Expert Solvers by Owen Inman, Michael Ledward, Gavin Avery, and Eli Coburn. The problem. Manuel and Ron are hosting events that are catered by the same company. Manuel plans to have five adults and six children to attend, so the total projected cost of the meals is $80. Ron has nine adults and five children on his guest list, so he will pay the caterer by $150. How much does the caterer charge for the adult meal? How much does the caterer charge for his child's meal? Our equations are 5x plus 6y equals 80, and then the second one is 9x plus 5y equals 115. For the representation, for x is adults, and for y is kids. So on the graph, the intersection is at 10, 5. Our first solving method is equal values method. Uh, the First off, for solving uh, this equation, you want to put both your equations down and rewrite them to solve for uh, the same variable. I chose to solve for x because it created the least amount of repeating decimals and easier numbers to work with. When you do that, you get x equals 16 minus 1.2y and x equals 12 minus 7 repeating minus 5y minus 0.5 repeating. Why? Uh, now you want to set them equal and solve for y. First, you want to uh, cross cancel the lowest variable, which is negative 0.5 repeating y, and what you get is uh, 0.64 repeating y. Then, once you get what 0.64 repeating y equals, uh, you solve to get y equals 5. Once you get y equals 5, you plug that uh, into the one of the equations that we first started with to get uh, x equals 10, which was the cost of an adult meal, and y was the cost of a child meal. For our next solving method, substitution, you take negative 9x, or you can take any of them, and put it over here, so I'll subtract it. So you get 5y equals 9x plus 115. You divide by 5 on each side, which will get you y equals negative 1.8x plus 23. And you take that number and you plug it into any equation that has y, and it's 5x plus 6 minus 1.8x plus 23 equals 80. And you multiply that by 6, and you get negative 10.8 and 138, and you subtract that, and you get negative 58. So 5x plus negative 10.8x equals negative 58. And you take and combine like terms, which gives you negative 5. And you divide negative 5.8 on both sides, so you get x equals 10. And you take x equals 10 and plug it into what you sub substituted which will get you y equals 1.8 times 10 plus 23, and you get y equals negative 18 plus 23, and you combine those, and you get y equals 5. So it's 10 comma 5. Okay, so this is elimination. All right, so what you do is I dropped a 5 bomb on the top equation and then a negative 6 bomb. The reason why you did that is so you get... It's easier for the 30 to be equal, so you can add it, because no one likes negatives. And then when you do that, it, you get negative 29 equals negative 2, 290. So you divide 29, negative 29, and you divide it on both sides like this, and then you will get x equals 10. And then once you're done, you get x equals 10, you plug it back into the x. So it's 5 times 10, which is 50. And then once you and then you bring it back down to right here, and then you get you get that away. So you like minus 50, so it goes away. And then you do it on both sides. And then 6y equals 30. And then you divide them by 6, and then you get y equals 5. So some of the pros and the cons for EVM are lots and lots of repeating decimals and it required way too much extra work to find the same number that the other two got you. I would not recommend this overall solving 
strategy. And some of the pros and, car, pros and cons for substitution are... Substitution was kind of in the middle between EVM and elimination. It wasn't too hard to solve, but it's still, you should find an easier way to solve it. And some of the pros and cons for elimination are... Okay, so it is the best, the fastest to do. So you just want to get it done with. But the dropping the bombs, like negative bombs, and because you drop the bombs, so the equal amounts go super high. So it's kind of messy. But yes, this was our presentation by Eli Codwell, Gavin Avery, Owen Inman, and your boy Michael Leonard. <laughs>